cover the blog articles page, which is an option on the dashboard um, menu for the blog one, blog widget. Uh, here I have two articles um, and the various actions I can perform on each article's edit the media, which would be editing the images, map, or um, video. Um, and here's another one's edit article, which is the textual content plus the title. And, or um, here's the third option is removing the article entirely. Over here on the right, uh, there's a current status column, which has um, which basically tells you the status of the article. This one's been published. If I click here, uh, published, I can actually, um, there's two kind of action items in here that you can publish the article now if it hasn't been published, or you can make a draft copy. So uh, I'll just click make a draft copy, um, and you can see article saved as draft. Okay. Um, and currently, this isn't showing the drafts, but if I go over to the dashboard, and I look, I can see that I have my list of drafts, and there's the draft that I just created. Uh, but um, so I'll go back to blog articles, which is the page we're talking about. And the final column here is tags, which allows you to add uh, searchable um, keywords to your article for search engine optimization purposes. So um, if you wanted to uh, add a tag here, um, or you can remove the tags as well. So here I can remove by clicking this X or um, uh, add another this tag to and save that and uh, exit out of the uh, tag editor as it were. And here you can see that both tags are here. Uh, but basically to add tags. If I went into here, for instance, this only has one tag to this article. If I remove this tag and save it um, and exit the tag article, you'll see that this is add. Basically, add meaning is the instruction or action to add the tag. So here, additionally, these also represent adding and or removing uh, tags by clicking any of these uh, tags in this column here. So, and that's pretty much it for the blog articles page.